Shalom to Orthodox Union, OU Executive Vice President Alan Fagan. Hi, Oni. So you're talking to us from the uh, annual conference in New York. So tell us about this conference. What are we seeing here? The convention brought together members of our community from all across the country, uh, distinguished Rabbanim. Uh, we were graced with the presence of the Chief Rabbi of the United Kingdom, Chief Rabbi of Argentina, many other prominent Rosh Yeshiva and Rabbanim, educators, communal leaders, the presidents of Yeshiva University and of Turo College. Uh, some of the items that we discussed included global anti-Semitism, our responsibility on the global scene, we had a number of sessions related to uh, women's leadership roles within the Orthodox community, defense of Israel, and a whole variety of other topics of concern to the Orthodox Jewish community in the United States, including the high cost of tuition, day school education, and so on. Now, many are familiar with the OU, but still, how would you define the main goals of the OU? It's very hard to summarize uh, uh, all of the goals of the OU. We have become an enormous and far-flung operation. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we provide the highest quality kosher supervision throughout the world, supervising close to a million products and ingredients in 80 countries uh, across, uh, across the globe. That is an enormous function uh, of the OU. We also have a, probably the largest youth movement of any Jewish organization uh, in the United States. Our National Conference of Synagogue Youth reach somewhere between 15 and 20,000 high school teens uh, in almost 200 communities around the United States. Our youth work in Israel, through OU Israel, uh, uh, in, in a variety of programs, primarily programs in the development towns uh, in Israel, uh, have now received uh, tremendous acclaim in Israel. We have an enormous, uh, uh, enormously successful program for individuals with disabilities, cognitive disabilities, developmental disabilities, a program for the hearing impaired, a program for the blind and hearing impaired uh, under our National Council uh, for uh, Disabilities, Yachad. And we do enormous work in the area of political advocacy, both at the federal level and at the state and local level. We have one of the most successful college-based programs in the United States, now operating on 22 campuses uh, around the United States, and we have a very active synagogue services department that helps us serve hundreds of OU shuls all across the country. Now the OU operates in Israel under the uh, Israel Center, the OU Israel Center, and of course we have all the activity abroad. How would you define the similarities and the differences between these uh, two parts of the activity of the OU? I, I think they all share uh, a, a common theme. Uh, we go where the needs of our community are we are looking to provide service not only to the Orthodox community, but to all of Kal Yisrael. So our NCSY programs are open not only to kids who are attending day schools and yeshivot, but some of our most successful programs are for teens in public schools who have never tasted uh, Torah learning and Torah study. The same is true for our programs with individuals with disabilities. We look to serve the entire community. So, Alan, uh, what's next? We're looking to uh, expand in every one of the areas that we currently operate. Uh, our only constraint is having sufficient funds to be able to do that. Uh, like every organization, we are resource constrained. Uh, so we are looking uh, to, to expand our base of support Instead of serving 15 or 20,000 teens, we'd like to be serving 50,000. Instead of being on 22 campuses around the United States, we'd like to be on 40. 
uh, the range of services is almost limitless given the challenges facing the Jewish people, particularly in diaspora communities. Uh, so for us, it's a question of finding the support necessary to expand our activities. Alan Fagan, Executive Vice President of OU, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Yoni.